the team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Hi there, I'm Martin Tyler, and this is the Bernabeu Stadium. Goal! Goalkeeper surprise, we're surprised too. It was almost four years ago since I did a tribute to Emmanuel Emenike on FIFA 15. I always rem remember that card being absolutely beast. It was just insane to use and it clearly was broken. But I felt my tribute wasn't good enough for this absolute legend. I had an idea that I want to salute all the players that I've used on Ultimate Team in the years that have excelled to legendary status for me. There's only maybe a handful of players that have and this is the first episode of FIFA Stories. M&EK's tenure with Beast SC started in FIFA 15. I remember packing him in a starter pack. Now, I didn't know whether or not to use him, but KSI's videos on Road Race to Division 1 changed my mind. When I saw him destroying people with M&EK on FIFA 13, I thought to myself, Yes, I want to use this guy on FIFA 15. It could not have worked out better for me. Over the course of FIFA 15's 9 month life cycle, M&EK got well over 400 goals in 418 appearances. The way he did this was with pure pace and pure power. FIFA 15 was a game that accepted those two options. He was just an insane card and he was only rated 80 with 88 pace, 80 shot and 83 physical, it did seem a little broken for the time. Even on Foothead, people still go on there and say how much of a beast card it was. To get 400 plus goals in 418 games with a gold rare card rated 80, I think is definitely worthy of legendary status for Beast FC. But it didn't end there. Once FIFA 15 ended, we journey into FIFA 16. FIFA 16 is where M&EK somehow just disappeared from the game. This was because he moved to the UAE to continue his footballing career. But unfortunately, FIFA 16 does not have the UAE leagues in it. So I had to make do with replacement strikers such as Bafatimi Gomez and Radamal Falcao. Both did pretty okay, but definitely not the status of MNEK. Fast forward to FIFA 18. FIFA 18 was definitely another game that I enjoyed because it allowed, again, pace and power. And that's the two things I love on FIFA. At the start of FIFA 18, I used MNEK again, despite him dropping down to a mere 75 rated non-rare goal card. Throughout his seven months of playing for Beast FC as a substitute towards the end as well, he bagged himself over 100 goals in 200 games, which, which means that he has picked up over his career 500 goals in 600 games. Pretty insane for a non-rare card. He still had it on FIFA 18, scoring long finesse shots and powerful drives into the top corner of the net, which makes M&EK one of my best strikers I've ever used. Yeah.